It's Saturday morning, and that means it's time for Spartan Nation TV. With me, your host, Hondo Carpenter from SpartanNation.com. Joined by the Duckett Dynasty, legendary Michigan State and NFL running backs, Tico and TJ Duckett. Now, it's time for Spartan Nation TV. Good evening and welcome back to Spartan Nation TV for season number six. I'm your host, Hondo Carpenter, along with legendary Michigan State and NFL running backs, the great Tico and TJ Duckett. Hi, guys. Hey, what's glad up? Glad to be here. Good Another to have you year. Back. Another, Another year. year. I'm yes. ready. I'm excited. Rose Bowl <laughs> dreams and national championship. Absolutely. Nightmares? No. No. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I, no. I agree with you, boys. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good year. Let's go right to you, Tico, since you're a little bit used to entitlement. Ah, <laughs> here we go. How does this team avoid a sense of entitlement after third in the country is where they finished, Rolls Bowl win and everything else, and now people are talking national title? Well, you know, they, they're going to have to go back to the basics, really. They're going to have to put last year behind them. They're going to have to put tonight right in front of them and start off with the basics and keep working hard to, to get there. TJ, we'll throw this one to you. You know what expectations are like. You were a first-round draft pick, the money guy that everybody looks to. How do you handle expectations? It's hard work. It's starting, and when the season was over, it's the off-season conditioning. It's the winter conditioning. It's putting that time in now, or back then. And now when it's game time, everything's done. You show up, and the work is ready. You're ready to play. I'm excited a little bit because I've been around practice a lot, as you know, this summer, and how Mark D'Antonio has handled going from being the hunter to the hunted. Your thoughts? <laughs> Well, when you're being the hunted, a lot changes. You know, people, <laughs> people when they play you, it's their Super Bowl. You know, it's something to prove, and so it's going to be tough this season. I'll throw this out to you. How would you like to be Nebraska? Where, quite frankly, Michigan State didn't beat them last year. They beat themselves, and they had to stay home and watch Michigan State at a Rose Bowl. There's going to be a lot of that, isn't there, There's going to be a lot, of, but that's what we wanted. I mean, when Coach right. D'Antonio got here, it was to build the program. It was to grow the organization. It was to make our team a team that may be in the top ten every year. And when that happens, you're going to have people who – we need to get at them. We need to beat sure. them, and that, that's part of it. Did you ever think we would say about Spartan football, they don't rebuild, they reload? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. But as I watched Coach D every year right. get closer and become a better program, now it's easy to say. TJ, I'm going to throw this one out to you. I think one of the most underrated parts of this football team is special teams. They returned Mike Sadler, All-American punter. Michael Geiger only missed one field goal all of last year. And then a guy, the second best long snapper in the country, but you know as well as anyone, that's the most underrated position yeah. in football. How big is Michigan State's special team? You know, you look at last year and the, and the games that they won and the point margins that they had. I mean, that was field position. That was our offense was sputtering in the beginning, but we'd go, we'd pin them somewhere mm -hmm. deep. The defense would stop them, and then it gave, gave us a chance. Mark D'Antonio gave me a stat earlier this summer when we were together. Not one time did a team – get the ball inside their own 20 this year and started driving against the Spartans where they scored a touchdown. Wow. That's, 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 a that's, that's, that's that, right. that tells everything right there. I mean, you, right can, there. you can go three and out, and if right. you can put them in that scenario sure. right there, sure. it proves for himself. But for the person at home who's heard defensive guys say bend but not break, is there a better term yeah. or a better stat than how many times have you gotten the ball inside your own 20 and scored? No, no, there's no better stat than that. That's what wins games. Okay. It, Go ahead. And that, and that just gives us from, again, that gives the offense a chance to build and grow and knows that we can go out, we can make mistakes. We don't have to have, at least at that time, 42 points a game. Right. We can go and our defense will take care of us. Let's reflect, though. Michigan State not only won every Big Ten game, but they won them by double mm -hmm. digits, guys. Mm -hmm. That's pretty phenomenal, Tico. Very phenomenal. Uh, unfortunately, at the beginning of the season, defense scored them. <laughs> 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 unfortunately. That's true. But, but that's a heck of a stat, you know, and that's what we were last year. TJ, for you, when you, you could because you played the game at such a high level, like Tico, how big is special teams? Spe it's underrated because you think the starter sits out. You think it's, it's, it's the foreign exchange yeah, student kicker. Yeah, you, you do, but but those are the 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 missed field goal you lose by two points. Right. The um, drop snap by the punter. Now the ball's out the end zone, and sure. you, I mean it's it's a big deal that we don't look at. But when we have the caliber of people we have on our special teams, and Coach D, it, they take it serious. It's serious. It's just like fourth and one. It's just like first and ten. It's, it's a big deal. 
Totally agree Absolutely. with you. All right, when we come back on Spartan Nation TV, we're going to turn to that offensive side of the ball. How are things going to be different in 2014? Tico, TJ, and I are going to tell you. We'll be right back. MSU Federal Credit Union is a proud supporter of Michigan State University Athletics. On or off the court. MSU Federal Credit Union supports my team. My team. My team. My team. And we just wanted to say thanks. Thank you, MSU FCU. Thanks. Thank you. This segment of Spartan Nation TV is brought to you by our good friends at Simple Tea Printing and Embroidery. We make shirts and we give back. Good evening, I'm your host Hondo Carpenter and welcome back to Spartan Nation TV, joined again by Tico and TJ Duckett, legendary Spartan and NFL running backs. And guys, we of course love our partnership with My18, but usually it's good morning. It's nice to have this preview uh -huh. show. We're like just an hour away from kickoff. We're I'm not ready. that far. That Hondo, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready for some ready. football? You can hear the band yeah. now. You can hear the band now. Oh, <laughs> All right, I'm going to give a word of hope. Let me be your green evangelist for a moment, may I? <laughs> How many times on this set last year did we moan and groan at Michigan State going conservative on offense and not going after points? Yeah. Boys, I yeah. got some good news <laughs> yeah. for you. Okay. What Visiting with Mark D'Antonio last week, we asked him about that, and here's what he said. We understand from the Rose Bowl and the Big Ten Championship exactly what we have on offense. We're coming out. We're going after it. We're going to score points. Is that like asking an evangelical choir for an amen? Exactly. You're right. The, the, you question, the question, Hondo, is when? When? Would it be today? It Will better it be, be next week, <laughs> you know, at the end of the year, when it win. I want to see it today, don't I you? I do too, yeah. yes. Come yes. out and be come out and be aggressive and, and set the tone. Again, we're not, we're not waiting for anything. We're, we are who we think we are, then let's prove it. Let's go out. Remember the old Nebraska teams under Tom Osborne mm -hmm. that would roll 70? Oh, or sure. Bobby Bout or Steve Spurrier when yeah. he was right, at Florida. Right, right. I want to see Michigan State come out, play Connor Cook for a half. Sit him on the bench and play the other two guys. How about you? I would like to see that, too. Get the other players in and, and get the points up. Let's do it. Here's a concerning factor, TJ. I'm going to throw at you. Connor Cook's a great quarterback. A lot of talk. Is he going to go to the NFL after this year? But here's the real Already? truth. Already? Already. <laughs> well, the NFL is coming out rating him one of the best quarterbacks yeah. in college football. Okay. But okay. here's the question I throw out to you. We don't have any experience at the backup. Yeah. And one hit, and you know we're going to be the hunted every week. Sure. One hit on Cook They've got to play the backups. They've got to have some reps. They have to. And, and maybe because last year it was such a quarterback controversy, we didn't know who was doing what. Maybe now they knew who the starter was going to be. So in some of the practices that they've had, they've given some reps to these guys. And if we can go out and put up 45, 70 points and get sure. some of these guys some play, that, right. that's what it's about. But right. I ask you this. You talk about reps in practice, and those are all good. But mm -hmm. you and I both know. Reps in a live game with oh. 80,000 screaming people under sure. the lights at the High Cathedral, the Spartan Nation, Spartan I agree. Stadium is another thing. I right? agree, but it's also it's also being able to do that, yeah. though. I mean, when you're uncertain, are you starting? Am I starting? There's, that's That instantly is in the back of your head. Let's Absolutely. talk about Connor Cook. Sure. Do you think it's a big deal? There's 85 scholarship players. There's 12 guys on the leadership council selected by the team as leaders. And you can't be a captain if you're not on that thing. He's not on that. Do you think it's a big deal, or do you think it doesn't matter as long as he wins? Well, you know, we could make it a big deal. Um, I think it is a big deal. But if you make it a big deal, it will be a big deal. I'm going to throw this out, TJ. I think it's a big deal if they don't win. But we know winning covers a multitude of sins. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Without a doubt. And, and to not know really what the inside of the team is sure. about – um, I mean, just last year, he was a sophomore. I mean, he, he was just getting ready. So just because you went out and you won right. some games and you put up some numbers doesn't mean now you're instantly a captain. Right. So he, he still may need some growing up to do. He may need to still trust his teammate or his teammates to trust him a little more. I mean, he again, just in you this. You earn that spot. Yeah. yeah you, you, know. you just can't 
right. win some games right. and have some numbers and say, okay, now I'm a captain. Right. But here's the deal I think people are missing, gentlemen. Because of the nature of the quarterback position, it doesn't matter if he's a member of the Eagle Council yeah. or a captain. He's a leader, period. He still leads the team. He still Whether leads, he has yep. that under his belt or not, he's still the leader of the team. I'm going to switch to a different angle. Jeremy Langford. Mm. Young man. <laughs> just saying, just over a little, just over a year ago, the kid did not have a scholarship yeah. and was mm. singing about transferring. Yep. Now he comes back. He's one of the top Heisman candidates. Your yeah. thoughts on having Langford back? Well, I'll tell you, it goes back to George Perlis. Work hard, keep your mouth yep. shut, and good things will happen. And that's exactly what this kid did. Langford. He's you as far as bulk mm -hmm. and speed. I mean, he's a little bit more Tico speed, but still, yeah. that's big Hold speed. On. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, I, I really, I like him. I mean, yeah. I, I really like what he does. Um, blocking, especially, yeah. and that's something that isn't talked about. There are many plays that you can see from last year where they would have bought a blitz. They brought a blitz, and he steps up, picks up the backer, and touchdown, or at least the first down. You guys know how important being a father is to me. Let me throw this out to you. If you took football away, let's make Jeremy Langford a computer geek, mm -hmm. and you said my son would have his character. I'd take it. That tells exactly. you the kind of young Absolutely. man he is. You know, with that being said, that's why it surprised me last year when he took a swung at a player. Remember that? <laughs> it surprised me. It, he was just in the heat of the heat of the moment. But I know what type of guy because he is. Because you were always level-headed. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just saying, you know, you see it, you know. I've spent enough time with you. No, but I've seen you take right. swings at a grocery it, store. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you were standing there. Uh, <laughs> it was me. Right. right. Let's go to tight end. Guys, they are deep. Yeah. Three NFL tight ends. And if you count the H back, Matt Sokol. Yeah. And Gil Dylan Chimura, it could be even more, boys. All depends on how they're used. They're being exchanged in and out. You don't want anyone to get hurt. Now, big question we're going to have about this whole team is can we all stay healthy? Right. But at that particular position and a couple other positions, if one person does go down, there is someone to step back in and get, get it done. Oh, I'm going to throw this out there. He just mentioned everyone stayed healthy. I threw this question out to D'Antonio a couple weeks ago. He's going to have guys – that will not see the field this year. Now, when I made this comment on the show last year, you looked at me like, what kind of dope are you smoking? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. He said to me, there will be guys on this team who will not play that will be yep. NFL guys. Yep. That's depth. That's great. That's the best thing we could hear. And you know? that, that is the definition of reloading. Because yes. now you have these dogs that haven't eaten all year, and now you're saying, I got a shot to, to play? I sure. agree. They, they, let them go. Let Speaking them go. of dogs, let's talk about defense next on Spartan Nation TV. Hi, I'm Kevin Witkin, owner of Discount One Hour Signs. We've been proudly serving the Lansing area since 1979. We pride ourselves in producing the best signs at the best prices, fast. From traditional graphics, vehicle wraps, lighted signs, whatever your needs, we do it all. Remember, a business with no sign is a sign of no business. Discount Signs, Lansing's top sign shop since 1979. This segment of Spartan Nation TV is brought to you by our good friends at the MSU Federal Credit Union, proud sponsors of MSU Athletics. Good evening. Welcome back to Spartan Nation TV. I'm your host, Hondo Carpenter, with Tico and TJ Duckett. We now turn to the side of the ball. The folks around the Spartan Nation, they already love. Guys, is the biggest story of the defense that Pat Narduzzi turned down more jobs to stay at Michigan State, Tico? Well, you know, that's what we want him here to do. He, he built a program on defense. He's a great coach, and we're just excited to see some of these guys step up this year and make plays. Mm -hmm. And, and the, it's about belief, and our defense believes in the system. They believe that when I'm put here, if I do my job, if I do what I'm supposed to do, then this guy will take care of his position. This guy will take care of that gap. This guy, will, and therefore, I can hold my place, and that's a big deal. Guys, I was in. I spent some time with D'Antonio in Chicago this summer, and I'm going to throw something out to you. Everybody around the country is talking about the six starters Michigan State lost, but I said, Mark, are people forgetting? You're not asking any true freshman to come in and mm -hmm. start. Mm -hmm. You're asking guys to do what you've already seen them do on film. Think about this one. You know, Curtis Drummond's there. Where they lose Isaiah Lewis to the Cincinnati Bengals, but R.J. Williamson step up. Now the NFL is saying Curtis Drummond's a second-round pick, maybe a first, and he couldn't beat out R.J. before an injury last year. <laughs> exactly. How much are people overlooking that? 
Well, you know, the people who don't really understand football, they're probably saying that. But people who really understand it, they, un they understand that these young kids can step right in. They played last year. And it's guys who've done it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw this out to you. The name of the game in Spartan Nation this year on defense is speed. Think about that. Max Bulla leaves for the Houston Texans. He runs about a 4.7540, which means he's just a little bit faster than me. But over at linebacker now, Darian Harris, who runs a sub 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Then you move Joel Heath, a 4-6-40 guy mm -hmm. from defensive end to defensive tackle, inside to defensive tackle. Lawrence Thomas, guys, they're getting faster. Is that even fathomable? I mean, they're getting faster, they're stronger, and when you know what you're doing, that instantly adds seconds to your, your reaction time. Now, I'm going to throw this to you. Neither one of the Duckett brothers had to worry about getting caught when you got to the second level. They didn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We're not reviving, oh, inviting him. Right. Right. We're not inviting him to the All next right. reunion. Uh, okay, right. but my point is, right. when you've got a sub four four outside linebacker, sure, guys. I mean, that says something, does it not? Yeah, it's huge, and, and it, it helps cover up mistakes if someone misses something. But at the same time, that corner, the outside, we, they, we can get there. And well, the thing is, if we want to play and play for the national championship, we have to have speed. Mm -hmm. You know, speed wins games, and I think that's what Nard Narduzzi. Brought in. That's how Jimmy Johnson changed the game of football mm -hmm. when he went to Miami. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I think, and Narduzzi has said, that's how he patterns his defenses after those Jimmy Johnson defenses. I like let's attack, attack, attack. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Speed, I mean, you can't, you can't teach speed. No. You cannot teach it. So, I mean, you got these huge young men who can run. And, I mean, again, knowing where they're going, full speed, and then covering for each other, that, that's what makes our defense so awesome. Let's talk about the defensive line. You've got Marcus Rush, who later this year is going to set the records for the most games started as a Spartan in a career. Awesome. Who's underrated because he played on the other side of, of William Golston. Mm -hmm. Then you got Shalik the Freak Calhoun. Then you got Joel Heath and Lawrence Thomas. Guys, when you start talking about that <laughs> defensive line, getting the words of the prophet, giggity, sure. giggity, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited again, Hondo. I mean, I'm ready to get started. I mean, you, you're, you're naming names of people that could be all Americans. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're great. Uh, they just need to work together as they did last year, and, and we'll see good things. I want to throw this out there to you. How big of a deal is it there's only really one set linebacker? We know Tawan Jones is going to start. We know Davis is going to start on the outside. But those positions are not settled. I would not be shocked if, by, if, if Riley Bulla moves into the starting lineup at some time this year. But it's not because guys aren't playing well. It's because guys are playing that good. TJ? Yeah, I, and, and I think the key is going to be Tuan Jones. Because he, Bulla, there's times him and the quarterback are looking eye to eye. And he's moving him. You got him. You got him. And he's orchestrating that defense. Can he do that this year? Can he come in and say, look the quarterback eye to eye, see the formation, and make decisions? And Coach Narduzzi trusting those decisions. TJ, you, I had NFL people say this to me. You're one of the smartest players that they ever coached. How much is the mental part of football underrated? Everything. It's the whole game. I mean, you got big guys, you got strong guys, you got fast guys, but it becomes a game of chess out there. You got the quarterback who's hopefully doing what the coach says, right. and you have the linebacker who's hopefully doing what the coach says. So these two are eye to eye on the field, and you got split seconds making a decision, and that, it ha that's the biggest part. Guys, I'm going to throw this out there to you. At every position, including long snapper, punter, and kicker, Michigan State could lose their first string. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would be competing for a national title, but they would be bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you could say that? Would you have to go back to 66? You would have to go back mm -hmm. to 66. I mean, there's, there's just no other team since then that has been reloaded like this. And that's the program that's been, been built. I mean, you got young men who want to come to school here and play, and it, they may not play the first year. They may not play the second year. But they also get to work with Coach Manny in that strength and conditioning program the <laughs> exactly, whole time. Exactly. And so by the time it's their time up, I mean, they're, ready to, they're go. ready to go. What does it say about Ken Manny? I always tell freshmen when I interview him, you're going to hate him. <laughs> and you're going to think he hates you. I'm just glad he wasn't there yeah, when yeah. I was there. <laughs> Manny Fred, I mean, yeah. it, 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 you're going to hate him, but at the end of the day, you're going to love him. Yeah, absolutely. And it's fourth quarter, and you're red, you're still breathing, and you're jumping up and down, right. and the other team's sweating and crying. Totally agree. When we come back, let's turn our attention to tonight's opponent, Jacksonville State. We'll be back.
bet you've got some dreams. My dreams drive my passion. To do what I love. To make a difference by teaching others. To make the world a greener and better place. To run my own business. To see where the road takes me. MSU Federal Credit Union offers auto loans to help drive your dreams to reality. We know you've got dreams. MSU FCU can help. This segment of Spartan Nation TV is brought to you by our good friends at Message Makers, creators of experiences that transform. Good evening. Welcome back to Spartan Nation TV. I'm your host, Hondo Carvener, along with TJ Duckett and his dad, Tico. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, you still love me after that joke. Yeah, ever. you know. You know and everyone says get a new joke, but it's such a good one. Yeah, you know. I'll you be but his girlfriend is significant. Know, yeah. His girlfriend wishes she was dating oh. T. <laughs> we just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Jacksonville State, tonight's opponent. Let me throw them into a little bit of a perspective. This is a team that has a lot of players that had SEC offers. Maybe they couldn't qualify, or maybe they transferred from those schools because they wanted to play now. This is a team that beat Ole Miss out of the SEC at Ole Miss. Granted, it's a 1AA team. I still think Michigan State wins, but this is a dangerous opponent, TJ. Mm -hmm. and, and no matter what they're coming in, Michigan State, again, has the bullseye on their back. So this may be the biggest game of some of these young men's career, so they have to have a chance to show what they can do, especially if they didn't, weren't getting the look at a D1 school and they want to have a chance to play at the next level. Yeah, exactly, especially with all our weapons on offense, defense, special teams. I'm a little concerned about tonight. You know, if we don't get it rolling, we could be up for a fight. I'm going to throw this out to you because here's what the Jacksonville State coaches are doing. They're telling their guys right now at Spartan Stadium, listen, you're not going to get a lot of tape against teams this mm -hmm. good. If you want to go to the league, they're going to look at your tape against these guys, not blind Bertha University. Each of these guys exactly. is playing for an NFL career, TJ. Yeah, yeah. and that, this is the first game. I Show mean, me every, the money! Everyone is fresh. They're excited. And truth is, if they come out and they're playing well, then their confidence is going to build as this game goes. And if it's fourth quarter and it's a seven-point game, we got a problem. Right. Let's talk about... Jacksonville State, they run a very similar to Oregon's offense. Speed, speed, they try to get you to make mistakes. Your thoughts on their offense? Well, you know, I would hate to jump to next week, but it's good that we're getting a look at this, this formation and this team because we're going to play Oregon next week. But it's going to be a good time to see if we, we, what we can do. And I think, again, for us to have a chance to use what we've done, I mean, we worked, what, since the summer, focused on one team and focused on this and focused on our game plan. If we can go in and make this look awesome and feel good about it, then we go into next week's game against Oregon with even more confidence. Guys, I'm going to throw this out there because I think this is important. How brilliant of scheduling was this by Michigan State? If they had Oregon week one, week two, but they were playing a team like themselves mm -hmm. in week one, they would have had to game plan. Essentially, this was a game planning week for Oregon. This, this is a national championship thought pattern. That's what it's not just a Big Ten championship. Right. It's not just let's win eight, nine games. This is a thought that we can win a national championship. And to get there, this is our first step. All right, let's throw this out there to you. When Jacksonville State comes in, is there concern that this team will take them lightly because they are one double A? How big of a concern is it? It's a huge concern. Uh, whenever you play a, a team in a lesser division, your, your mental mindset capacity kind of is thrown off. Uh, and you see that when we play teams like Western or Central, some of those teams, that, you know, you do have to get yourself up for this game. Uh, and Coach D is going to get them up. Question for you, TJ, because you've been around here long enough, you know this. Last year, Michigan State struggled against some teams they should have beaten. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, Quite frankly, it was a little bit embarrassing a few of the games, Western Michigan mm -hmm. in particular. My question to you is, do you think Michigan State learns from that, and how much do you want to see them come out fast? And if we, are, if we have a national championship mentality, that means we need to win games like this by 40, 50 points. Regardless, if we have that mentality, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter who they are. It means we're going to play at this high standard at this level, which is a national championship level. It's crazy even saying it and talking like that. You're right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and the fact that they're, and they're, by them doing that, by them being able to play at their standard, now we have to hope and see if they can play with us. Usually you and I are the ones telling him he's crazy. He admits it now. Man, <laughs> it's like I'm saying, right? Is that the first sign of addiction? I don't know. <laughs> All right. When we come back on Spartan Nation TV, our big predictions next. Hi, I'm Kevin Witkin, owner of Discount One Hour Signs. We've been proudly serving the Lansing area since 1979. We pride ourselves in producing the best signs at the best prices, fast. 
From traditional graphics, vehicle wraps, lighted signs, whatever your needs, we do it all. Remember, a business with no sign is a sign of no business. Discount Signs, Lansing's top sign shop since 1979. Spartan Nation TV is brought to you by Duckett Enterprises. We don't just speak, we live it. And by Clotta Irish Pub. Clotta Irish Pub, home of the Guinness Perfect Pour. Good evening, welcome back to Spartan Nation TV. I'm your host, Hondo Carpenter, along with TJ and Tico Duckett. Gentlemen, it's that all-important fifth segment of the show where we make our predictions, but we're going to do two today. We're going to predict regular season. What do you think the record's going to be? I'll go first. I set 11-1. and one. I set it all summer. I set it in my magazine and everything else because I expected Michigan State to go out to Oregon, and I expected them to play too conservative and lose. But after Mark D'Antonio made those sentiments to me, that they're going to come out and score points, and they're going to go after it, I'm changing it. I never thought I would ever make mm. this prediction. Mm. I go 12-0. and 0. Ooh, TJ. Wow. Oh, that's big. That's, that's big. big. Uh, hey, uh, I'm okay. the Hondanator. Hey, okay. Go big you know, or go home. And, you know, I'm, I am, I'm going to ride with you, Hondo. I am. I mean, I, we, it's, it's time. Going to catch us riding dirty. Yep. Yep. All right, it's I'm going to go a little different. Oh, gee, that's not yes, a surprise. That's, 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 <laughs> negative Nancy disagrees. Uh, I'm, but see, I'm, I'm gonna, I just, I'm gonna go 11 and one. It's just gonna be someone's gonna sneak up on us. Don't say that. Somebody's gonna sneak up on us. Can't say that. I just hey, keeping he's, it real. He's your brother. I'm just mean, keeping it real. I'm still the third Ducker brother, but I'm with you and your dad. <laughs> All right. Let's now go to today's game. I'll go first. I'm gonna come right out and say it. I expect Michigan State's defense to be dominant. I do not expect Jacksonville State to be able to run the ball against the first string. I'm hoping Connor Cook sits the second half and the Spartans come out and win 48 to 13. Ooh. TJ. I'm gonna go 42 to 10. I think we're gonna be able to run the ball. Pass the ball well, but we're, we're going to struggle a little bit. We're going to struggle. That's got to be different. What's right? the score? 35 14. That's a struggle. That's a struggle. <laughs> He's your brother. I mean, it's a struggle. I just keep saying no, it. You, it's, a, it's, it's a struggle. I mean, we should be 45 0, yeah. but I think it's going to be a little bit tougher than we think. Send all negative comments to <laughs> Duckett Brothers Distributing. Just keep it real. Just keep it real. All right, guys, last one for you, and then I'm going to say this Michigan State has Michigan, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many great games, Ohio State at home. How important is it now for Spartan Nation to show up, buy those tickets, be in the seats? Mark D'Antonio's delivered the product. Mm -hmm. They need to deliver their attendance. TJ? Yep, show up no matter first game, last game. We have to be there at all times. That crowd noise, uh, teams coming in, feeling that presence of Spartan Nation together, the go green, the go whites. I mean, all of that together, that, that's a big impact, and it helps these kids with energy. It's the 12th man. You know, we just that it wins ball games. Sometimes you don't think so, but the, when the crowd is into it and you have the support and you see, you saw it at the Rose Bowl, green everywhere. Yeah. It means something. But it's important. I think there's gonna be a lot of recruits at this game, mm -hmm. and it's important for a recruit to see that stadium yeah. full. Do yeah. you guys not agree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Stadium full. There's new locker rooms. I mean, this is this is you know the new Spartans. You've been in that locker room. It's a Amazing. I'm going to be honest. Amazing. I've dated women that didn't look as good as that <laughs> And I know you have. Oh, huh? yeah. TJ's well, not so much. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to get to the stadium. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's around. Let's All right. Go. We're heading over to the stadium. Thanks for joining us. And remember, next week we're back to our usual time on Saturday mornings. Guests of Spartan Nation stay at Country Inn and Suites. Curtis. Yeah.